How you doing guys and welcome back to my next Monroe outing Today I am tackling two Monroes If you watched my last uh, Monroe video then you would have seen that I was at the most westerly of these seven Monroes Today I'm tackling the most easterly two Monroes And I believe these are the biggest two that I've tackled yet Sunrise has just happened over the over on the horizon there It's about six o'clock in the morning um, Like I say the two Monroes, um, I've been looking forward to these for a while because I've seen them on the horizon when I've been doing another couple of Monroes because they stand so prominent and I've always fancied coming and doing these so today is the day The first Monroe, uh, literally its name translates into English as the Big Hill or Big Hill um, and if you know any little bits of Gaelic that I've picked up or that you've picked up then you'll know that this is Ben Moore coming from the, the Gaelic Moor which literally means big so the first one sitting at 1,174 metres high which is about 3,800 and so feet is Ben Moore and I'm just looking at it here and it's just going to be a pull straight from the off the first part down here in the cloud again straight from the, the road you're just straight into it I've had a wee breather here I've almost made a boo-boo on the route I've just done a bit of map checking uh, when you get to this little bit of waterfall, you swing a right up the path Don't follow the Land Rover track And yeah, oh, oh my goodness, here we go This is going to be fun First one of the day, Ben Moore Let's have you When I was doing my research for these Monroes I learned pretty much everything uh, or Sorry, everything that I pretty much learned said that there's no easy route up this first Monroe It's pretty much a big cone So from whatever side you tackle it You're going to be hitting steep hills So far All I've done is climb stairs Whew. Which is quite good Could be worse if it was a muddy path However, stairs are not your thing and this is not the Monroe for you <sighs> However, if you like stairs then knock yourself out There's plenty here That's me at 550 metres high, so just under halfway. And it's taken me just under an hour, but I'd say I stopped probably for about 20 25 minutes to do bits to the drone, bits with the camera. So, in an ideal world, you'd probably get here in about 40 minutes, depending on how fit you are. I would probably get here in 40 minutes, and I'm not particularly fit right now. I keep having wee breaks as well just to look at all the clouds and and just watch this all forming and disappearing and reappearing it's just absolutely stunning and I've also noted over here that there's a uh, the sun is obviously casting through the two main rows that I'm doing and where the sun is hitting the mountain is pretty much a v-shape and that's going to be the beelach of where I go down today This is absolutely amazing, I love being out here Whew.
I was walking there with my head down, just keep my eye on the ground and it was one of those moments you just turn a corner and you just crest over the, the side of the hill and just what a view, it just absolutely strikes you I thought this was all going to be burned off with the sun already but that cloud, is just that band of clouds is just sitting in that that glen all the way up as far as the eye can see it's not quite like a super inversion we've just got the peaks of the highest hills sitting around but just to see that cloud sitting way down low something absolutely amazing these are the good times and these are why i do this for those little moments you don't know what you're going to get so another 140 meters of ascent let's get this done There we have it guys, Munro number one for the day in the bag Ben Moore, 1174 metres high I'm now moving on to the second Munro of the day which sits at 1165 metres high There is a small matter of a drop of 337 metres between them so I'm going to drop that and then have to climb back up to get the second one uh, The second Munro of the day is Stubb Binion uh, from my limited research into the, the names of the hills it comes from stop meaning point or peak and binion is from the word it's amalgamated over the years from the word inion or something similar in Scots Gaelic which means anvil so stop binion, point of the anvil when I was up at the top there of Ben Moore they just absolutely amazing views around today that cloud is still sitting in the glen up towards Colin, up towards Ben Laws. And uh, it's now at the point where I've done a couple of Munro's around here that I can start to pick them out. And it's nice to see them and know that you've done them. Like when I was looking over to the east, I could pick out uh, Ben Vorick and Stuka Croin, which I'd done a while ago. And then looking west, um, the most westerly one of these seven is uh, Ben Hoyer. But it's just amazing to be up here in this one is a superb one, it just it looks amazing, just a big pointy hill I don't know why it's got its name, Point but yes, enough waffling I'm going to crack on and get row number 2 done for today That is me down at the Bielach between the two Munro's So much easier coming down these hills uh, Stubinion didn't look that intimidating back up at the top of Ben Moore However down here I now see the angle that I'm about to start uh, This is going to be another 330 odd metres of nonsense It does look amazing though 